Hey everybody, it's Adam from Tested. Now you know that I love me my spacesuits. I've worn spacesuits at Comic-Con several times. Mercury suit, 2001, Alien. I have several other suits in my collection that I've replicated and commissioned. Spacesuits are one of my primary passions. Now one of my other primary passions is The Martian. First the book, but then the movie made by Fox starring Matt Damon, directed by Ridley Scott. And here's the thing, I've been wanting to add a Martian spacesuit to my collection ever since I first saw the first photos from the set of The Martian and Fox Studios is allowing me to replicate a Martian spacesuit for my collection. Holy crap, this is the best part. In order to replicate one, well, I need to borrow one, and Fox has allowed us to do just that. Norm and Frank Ippolito went to Fox Studios this morning, picked up a spacesuit, yeah, and we're just about to load it into Frank's shop and start to do all the documentation and information retrieval we need to make a perfect replica of the Martian suit. Shall we get to it? Go get it. Oh, this is so exciting! Holy crap, that's heavy. Lowering it down on this. Okay. A little more. Oh! Oh, it's real. Look at that! I get to touch it. <laughs> That's the first thrilling part. <gasps> Holy crap, look at this thing, it's so pretty. <sighs> oh, I don't even know where to begin. So first impressions are actually amazing. This is a hero prop. This is meant to be used on screen by hero actors and thus uh, its veracity holds up no matter how close you get. Um, the suit was designed by Janty Yates. She does the costume design for all of Ridley Scott's films. She did the beautiful helmets from Prometheus. Um, the execution of this suit is by uh, some amazing craftspeople at FBFX out of London uh, in England. Uh, they also did the Prometheus suits. They've done a dozens and dozens of great films, many of your favorite pieces. Um, and the attention to detail, I'm looking right now, just at the castings on this glove. This is not an off the shelf item. These are cast, it looks like urethane pieces uh, that are totally custom based on just the, 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 the aesthetic of the universe that Ridley Scott created. The wrist thing here is, I can see that it's 3D printed. That is really awesome. I'm seeing some metallic textures here. Um, that look like they're paint treatments or that this was vacuum metalized and then painted. It's the, 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 uh, the soft part of the suit, which I believe I was correct in assuming was neoprene, um, is also heavily screen printed dimensionally with these textures on it. It is, it's really lovely to see a prop like this up close because the attention to detail is just that, an extreme attention to every tiny detail, even down to stuff you would never be able to read on camera. Do not remove pressurized chamber. That's pretty cool. Again, when we're talking about customization, these are not off the shelf items. These are, these are exo boots that look like they were made for production. I don't know, we'll have to determine that. Um, these armoring down here on the ground. This beautiful honeycomb pattern. Man, this stuff is beautiful. Holy cow, it's gorgeous. All right, so that's mounted They're using tamper-proof screws for that. Oh my gosh, I, I really cannot wait to actually start to inspect this thing on a deeper level because it's like sometimes if you collect movie props and you look at them up close, they tend to kind of fall apart because there's stuff that looks good on camera that doesn't necessarily look good in person, but not this. As a hero uh, actor prop, it has to hold up while the camera is right here and boy, does it. So this is something um, that's uh, probably obvious about this attention to detail is I'm going to have to spend the same attention to detail to replicate this for my collection. Um, every last little bit of paint treatment has to be documented uh, and chronicled and replicated. And we're going to do that on Tested. Uh, so that whole process will be covered over a set of videos we're gonna do that's gonna end with me wearing a Martian suit. Yeah.
What a lovely, lovely bit of design. Now, I know a lot of you are saying to yourselves, Adam, aside from being spectacularly handsome, how the hell did you get the opportunity to replicate a Martian suit? Why would Fox allow you to do that? Here's why. Get the Martian, nominated for seven Academy Awards on DVD, Blu-ray, and digital HD today.